So today I'm looking at the alternative to WooCommerce. This is a service that promises to be lightweight, very fast and easy to use. It is called Shortcut. Let's check it out and see if this product really does the job for WordPress users. So here I have a brand new WordPress install. So the next step is to install our plugin. So I'm going to come over here to plugins. Let's click on add new. We're going to search for Shortcut. And here it is. So far, I like what I see. This is five star and it's been installed on 10,000 websites. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and click on install now and install this plugin. We're going to go ahead and activate. Excellent. So over here on the left, you can see we have shortcut. Let's click on get started. So this is now taking us through the installation process. So I'm going to click here on create new site. I'm going to leave this as it is in my currency as it is. Click on continue. So now it's asking me, start from scratch or start with demo products. So let me have a look at these demo products. I'm going to click on continue. So here's my email address. I'm going to hit continue. And then I'm going to say view my store. So just like that, I was able to set up my online store. So at this point, it's also important to note that we have these pages that were created for us. Now, remember, this was a brand new WordPress install. So we have the checkout page installed for us. We also have the dashboard and the shop. So this is what the checkout looks like. This is what the dashboard looks like. So if I need to take a look at my orders here, I can just click on orders. If I have any plans and if this has downloads as well, I can click here on downloads and check out my downloads. So now let's further explore the ins and out of a shortcut. So back over here, I just want to go and see uh, what everything looks like in the back end. So the first place I usually go to is the settings. So I'm going to come over here. All right. So here we have our currency, our time zone. If you have a terms page, you can just enter it here as a link or the privacy policy page. Now, this page of these pages are very important for running an online store. Anyway, let's move on to the next part, the design and branding. This is also pretty cool because I can also come over here and add all my colors. So let's say I want to change this color. I can just click anywhere in here and then go ahead and choose my color. If I need to add my logo, I can just come over here. So now it's asking me to complete setting up the store and it's free. So let's see what happens when I say complete setup, because all I need to do here is to add an image. So I'm going to go ahead and complete the setup. I'm going to leave this page. So it looks like it needs a name. So I'm just going to say Mac and it also needs an email address and a password. Now, in my case, I'm already signed up. So I'm going to click here on continue with Google. But in your case, you would need to go in and fill in this information and your password as well. So here's my account. I'm going to go to the next step. And this is the part now which allows us or which needs us to connect Stripe or PayPal to our account. Now, this is very important because without this, you can't sell anything on your site. So let's go ahead and click on connect. So I'm just going to do one for this one. I'm just going to do Stripe. So I already have a Stripe account. So I'm going to hit connect, click on login. And as you can see, the setup process is quite straightforward. I don't have to go through so many forms to fill in. I like the fact that it's really, really cool. All right. So over here, I just need to enter my uh, password to verify my login. And pretty much I am good to go. All right. So let's click on connect. So here I would like to see more of these payment gateways. I mean, just having these three, I don't think it's good enough because there are people in parts of the world that don't uh, use Stripe and PayPal. But anyway, there might be a solution to this. So keep watching. All right. So now I'm going to click on next and pretty much I'm done. I can now go back to WordPress. So as you can see, it is very, very easy to install. Very, very straightforward. And I really like this. All right. So now that we've established that installing it is very easy. What about adding product? Oh, wow. Check this out. We also have abundant checkout. Now, usually you would have to install a separate plugin in order for you to have this feature. And I like the fact that Shortcut has this in that software. Fantastic. So all I have to do now here for notifications, I can click on enabled. I can say first email delay one hour, one day, five days. Pretty cool. I love this. So let's see how easy it is to add a product. So I'm going to click on add new. Let's give this product a name. So I'm just going to call it uh, Mac product. Click on create. So for my description here, I'm just going to paste it like that. It's also asking us for some images. So I'm going to say add upload media. So I'm just going to add a random image from here and then click on choose file. All right. So now it's time to add our pricing. I'm going to click on add a price. So here I can give this a name. So let's call this monthly. 
And I like the fact that we have different payment options. We have a one-time payment. And when I click down here, it also has an installment and subscription. So I'm going to choose a subscription here. And the price, let's say this is 99 we also have more features here. So look at this. It allows customers to pay what they want. You can set up a fee or a discount. So this is now here. We also have a free trial. So you can choose whatever payment you want here. If it's a one-off payment, you can just click on one time. And pretty much you can see here we have less options. So if this was the one time, allow customers to pay what they want. No, I don't need to do that. And if you also need to add the expire access also added here so straight away i can see that this has way more features than woocommerce has so we can track my quantity here and i can also add my variance if i need to now here we have our integrations so if i click on add new integration so here the only option we have on the integration is add wordpress user role apart from that everything else here is grayed out i think that's because this has to be a paid option Okay, let's cancel that. Let's move on. So if we had downloads here, we can just click here and add an external link to add our downloads. And then for our licensing here, if you want to license the products, we can add our licensing here, our licensing information, and pretty much we are good to go. So it looks like setting up a product is very, very easy. Now over here, we can specify if this is a physical product or if it's a digital service. So I'm gonna select digital. And if I need to add any tax information, I can add it over here. Now let's take a look at this product. So I'm gonna open this in a new tab and here it is. So this is my this was my image that I added and here is the price and my description. Now if I need to increase the quantity, I can increase it over here like that and then I can click on add to cart. Now notice that we have this fly out item. I really like that. If I needed a coupon code, I can just add it here. So I like the fact that this is really, really easy to use. If I need to buy now, I can just click on buy now. So now this is taking me to this checkout page and you can see here I've added four and it has added or multiplied it. Now it's 396. Now because I subscribed or I set up Stripe, this is where now I can go in and add my card number, expiration date, my CVC and my postcode and pretty much I'm good to go. If I hit purchase, this is linked to my Stripe account, which means that Stripe processes the payment. But so far, what I see is you can set up a store up and running in less than an hour. I mean, you saw what I was doing here. This is pretty straightforward. So the next thing I wanna talk about is something that I think needs to be uh, added onto Shortcut to really make this easily customizable. So right now, I just wanna to go to the dashboard. Now, this could be the shop page, the checkout page, whatever it is. So as we can see here, this page here fills up the whole space here. But ideally, I would like to design this page the way I want to make it look custom. So if I click here on edit page, now what I'm using here is Spectra. I'm not even using Divi or Elementor here. I'm not sure. I mean, in fact, I don't even think there's an integration. Okay. So anyway, so over here, you notice that when I click on uh, this one here, all it is, it's a title here and it's a block which says plans. Now I can't do anything else in here. It doesn't allow me to uh, customize this. All I have is additional CSS. Now, what if I wanted to add some padding here, add some background colors, Basically, I can't do that. I can't do that on the order history as well. So um, let me see. If I select the, custom, uh, the customer dashboard, the whole thing, pretty much there's nothing here I can go in and customize. So I think this is something that um, is needed to be uh, improved here on all these uh, custom pages that Shortcut creates. So if you're not aware, WooCommerce is absolutely free. So the question now is, what about Shortcut? Is it free? Or... Do we have to pay a hefty price for us to sell products on our WordPress website? Let's find out. So the next thing I want to talk about here is the pricing. So as you can see, I was able to go in, set up all my products, set up my coupons and everything pretty much for free. So let's take a look here and see what it is, is what they're charging for. So if I go to pricing, we notice here that we have zero per month, which is what I installed. So here we can create physical and digital products, subscriptions, installations, uh, free or paid trials and setup fees and so on. So
So it looks really, really cool. We also have cart abandonment here and basic email support. So for 19 a month, this is where now we start getting the order bumps, the one-click upsells, the subscription saver and insights. I mean, this is in my opinion, very, very generous. So if you're someone who wants to just sell a product, you don't need to uh, maybe add order bumps, upsells, downsells, and so on. Pretty much you are good with setting up a store for absolutely free per month, which is right here. But when you feel that you want to set up something even more advanced, in fact, it's 29 per month if you choose the monthly option. For the yearly, that's where it becomes 19 per month. But anyway, I think it's worth it. When you have your order bumps, one-click upsells, and so on, it means you're making more money with your store, which means $29 really is not a lot of money. So the pricing here, I think, is very, very generous. You know, one of the really cool features is if someone buys a product, is it easy for us to upsell them to another product or downsell them to another product? This will be a very awesome feature for any product that sells anything online. Let's see if Shortcut does that. If you want to take a look at our upsells, we come over here to our products and now we can see we have collections, order bumps, upsells, and so on. So I'm going to go to uh, order bumps first. I'm going to click on add new. So I'm just going to call this uh, test order bump. So I'm going to choose an item here. I'm going to say product and it's going to be Mac product, which is this one right here. Add condition. So show order bump if I'm going to click on this drop down. So if I wanted to add another condition, I can add it here. Next, let's talk about our discount here. So I'm going to set it as percentage and I'm going to say 40%. Here we can add our order bump description. And this is optional, by the way, but I'm going to add it anyways. And then here, I'm just going to say buy now. And then I'm going to leave my priority as it is. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and click on save order bump. It's time now to test and see if our order bump has been added. So I'm going to come over here to any product. So I'm going to click over here. And next, we're going to choose one-time purchase. Click on buy now. And sure enough, we can see here right at the bottom that our order bump has been added. And our percentage is also there as 40%. So this is pretty cool. Very nice. Very neat. But I also would like to have a few options for me to go in and customize this so that it really stands out. Maybe perhaps add a light background or maybe even add a... Um, dotted border or something like that so that it really stands out so this is something that i'd like to see as well but apart from that i mean this pretty much works seamlessly so i'm going to come over here again to shortcut go to products and then we can see here we have upsells but this is in beta but i'm pretty sure that this will work okay so let's add new in fact you know what let's have a look at this one here which i just created so we can have a look at the interface so when we take a look here, you can see that we can display conditions and we can say specific purchases. And then we can uh, come over here and choose uh, any of these items in the cart. And this is the product. We can add our condition here as well because we can add quite multiple conditions. But if we come over here, we can remove this and add a specific product if you want. But what really gets me so excited is this section here. So post purchase offer. So we are saying that if this offer here is accepted, then this is the product that we are going to show. If it's declined, we're also going to show this one right here. So as you can see, this is a very, very intuitive interface, very easy to use. And if you want to change the product at any point as the downsell here, you can just click on the three little dots, edit offer, and then you can go in here and change it. Now, of course, no product is perfect out there. Let's talk about things that Shortcut can improve or things that I would like to see in Shortcut. So first of all, I would love to see an integration with page builders to make it easier for us to design our pages much, much easier Shortcut as well as the page builder. Secondly, advanced custom fields. This is something that I'd love to see where we can add our own fields and combine it with Shortcut. Surely this will make things really, really awesome. And finally, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any other thing to complain about or to suggest because so far, I think those are the main things. A fantastic integration with uh, page builders, that will be awesome because this means we can create amazing pages, check out pages and so on. But this is one of those products which is difficult to critique because they've done most of the things correctly. So this gets a 4.5 out of 5 for me. It's a fantastic product. Try it out.